three up. Yeah, this is a smart line here. Hit a draw away from the hole. If it goes that's farther, it kicks dead to the right. No, that's a great shot right yep. there. Not a lot of movement in Keek's ball, so um, look for him to sort of start this right at Rory's, where Rory's ball ended up, taking that water out of play. Well outside, it's going to come down the hill a little bit. That's another one just about three yards farther. It goes almost all the way down. That's pretty strong. He hadn't made a bogey in 35 straight holes. So there's something about this that does fit his eye note, no doubt. Yeah, he saw Bradley's ball not work as much to the left. So see if he adjusts here. That looking good. Just didn't break at the end. So we'll see what he can do on this hole again today after launching one yesterday. They're exactly 60 yards shorter today on average from yesterday. That is a no holes barred, fully released. Right down the middle, guys. Uh, there's not much prettier to watch in golf than Rory in full flight. He couldn't even take his eyes off it, and that went so far down the hill. There's our drone shot brought to you by the Paradigm Driver and Irons from Callaway, providing a shift in perspective on this hole. But it's just so tough when your opponent just blisters one down there. And you're CP. already three down. This was a nice one down the right side. A little higher carry. I'm not sure it's going to get the run out. Fun for the fans to watch. It gets some serious hang time. Keegs left with 249. Rory left with less than 200. This is a much, much tougher shot from back here. And this is going to be tight here. Needs to carry. Needs a bounce. It's OK. Not My goodness. Much, That's fantastic, actually. Squeeze that ball between the flag stick and the water. Look at Scotty Bell kind of smiling. Going, Whoop. Not going to be much issues getting solid contact. Looking oh. out a little right of the hole. And Keegan sent him a message. You know, he needs to hit a good shot here. Rory needs to keep it dry. Oh. He needs to keep it dry. Came over the top, and this is going to be wet. Right oh. away. And that's a freebie for Keegan Bradley. But Keegan did it to him. You know, he forced his hand after he hit that shot. That's what match play is all about. Tendency for Rory every once in a while come down too much from the inside. Too much side spin. And that's the end of that. So. Hopeless feeling, isn't it? Well, it is. And, you know, these good players, every one of them can hook it at some point. You can see that face come in there a little shut. Smoked it. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't like, like it. it. All right, for Eagle is Bradley. Two they cuts to win it. McElroy just with a par putt left. Look at he guns this by. Grief. So McElroy is still has hopes of a tie on this hole. Keegan Bradley for birdie to win the hole. If this doesn't go down. Oh man. Can McElroy wriggle off the hook here? Oh wow. Yeah. Houdini and maybe McElroy just has Keegan Bradley's number. He had a big pull hook the last shot. Got to get that out of his head. Launches this way up in the air. Just a smooth swing there. This has plenty of juice on it. It sure does. So high, it just landed into that hill. They're soft. Back at 13, and we'll see if Keegan Bradley can do something with this three wood. Maybe just out to the right, but a good shot. He's got a good angle. Long chip and run there up and over. Back here 13. Keegan Bradley has a chance to win the hole and he does. So he cuts into that three up lead. He's two down now. It, it really is Danny you know because you're one you're one win away from putting this thing you know to a real good back and forth. And we'll add that he has to win the match as well. This is a bad swing for Keegs. Oh. Deep into the right. Yeah that's really bad. 
Yeah, even with the downwind, he's going to be able to hold this, put enough spin on it, it'll stop basically right where it hits. that will separate him from the field. Keegan Bradley's third at this part 414th. It's pretty simple. Good kick. Oh man, just about made it. Oh, he played that just right. Oh! Well, what kind of mess around is that? Very close to grabbing a three-up lead if that goes down. Oh, my goodness. Rory two up in the match. And what a shot for Rory. Two points already. You make that, might be enough to go three up with three to play. Keegan Bradley is two down to Rory McElroy as they play 16. Playing 15 right now, and that's okay for Keegan. And he's been pretty confident with his putting. He's been working with Phil Kenyon for about a year and a half. He said, This is the best I've ever putted since the old days of the belly putter. There you go. He needs this one. Rory's in there tight for Birdie. That's not going to get there. That's like putting through Velcro. This is McElroy to get into the Saturday's play and win the group. Watch the flow of the putter heads. See if it froze, flows freely. It does. Yep, and there's the uh, switch back to the new putter. And that seals the deal for Rory winning the group. He moves on to Saturday. And we go to 16. Rory McElroy has two putts to win his match. They're pretty dominant, Steve, the entire week so far. was the winner of this event at TBC Harding Park in San Francisco in 2015. The first time this format was used as he disposes of Keegan Bradley three and two today. He becomes the first player since the format change in 2015 to go three and oh three times. 2015, 2019, and now. And McElroy advances to the round of 16 on Saturday morning. Denny McCarthy loses to Scott Stallings one up. Scott is the winner, so McElroy, in dominating fashion, handles that group three, and he moves on to Saturday. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.